Turning now to our other top story, headed to the lake to swim. While you may want to stay away from the waters at Lake Milton, high levels of E. coli are there at the beach, although the option to swim is still being left up to you. First News reporter Christina Mullen is in Lake Milton. Christina, tell us exactly how high these levels are. Good afternoon, Lauren. Water quality advisory signs are posted here at Lake Milton. ODNR tells me water tests taken last Friday shows high levels of E. coli in the water. A uh, bi-monthly E. coli test came back um, slightly elevated. Typically levels are 235 is our warning threshold. What we came back with was 240, so we posted the signs as soon as we got those results back. Now ODNR tells me they're going to continue to test the waters. The latest test results should be in by Thursday, and that'll determine if these signs will stay up or come down. Now coming up at 6 o'clock, you'll hear from a couple people that came out to the beach today to swim. You'll hear their reactions on the high levels of E. coli at 6 o'clock. Reporting from Lake Milton, I'm Christina Mullen, WKBN 27 First News.